Hi there, Goodgolf here with the next video tutorial on Mirror Networking. Today we will take a look at the lobby room setup for Mirror. If you check the Mirror tutorials first, it's fairly easy to set it up. Add two scenes, add a script for the network room manager, and add a script for the network room player. As you can see in the demo, when I zoom in, each player connecting to the host is listed on a panel and needs to press the ready button to signal the game can start. When all players are ready, the host can start the game with a start game button and the game scene is loaded. There is one problem with this standard setup though. It uses ongui calls to create the UI. I really don't like this approach since it is old school and difficult to customize. So I decided to create a series of scripts to do this using the canvas-based modern UI. Before I show you what that looks like, let me briefly explain how the lobby room logic works. You create three rooms. Room 1 is used for the UI to host the game or join as a client. Room 2 collects the players in the lobby room. Each player is represented by a room player object. When all room players signal they are ready, the game scene is loaded and the room player objects are converted into the player objects used in the game scene. When the game ends, the players can be redirected back to the lobby room. In the canvas-based UI, I will link each room player to a list item parented to a panel. This is how it looks like in the game. The UI at the start of the game is the easy part. A button and an input field will do it. When you get to the lobby, we want to create a scrolling list with list item elements parented to a panel. On the top of the list, we'll have a start button which is only enabled when all players are ready. Each list item is an image with a label, an input field where you can input a name, and two buttons to signal ready or cancel the ready status. You can only edit your own player's list item. At the end of the game, when there's only one player left, everyone returns to the lobby room. I will briefly explain some of the key concepts in the code. For the next video I will create a downloadable package, which you can run with standard Unity assets only. That will give you a better opportunity to dig into the code. The Network Manager UI is an alternative version of the Network Manager HUD, simply using a canvas with some buttons to trigger the Start Host and the Start Client methods. The room player UI script is attached to the image and its sub-elements, a text, an input field and two buttons. It simplifies getting and setting the values of the sub-elements and stores who is the owner of the list item by means of the mirror net ID. In the awake function it parents itself to the panel which holds all the list items. The network room player UI is the class representing the player in the lobby room. It uses a sync var to store the player name we get from the list items input field. In the onClient enter room event, we create the list item in the user interface and assign our net ID to its owner value. It resets the player's name in the list item based on the index value. The player label function creates a name based on the index of the player. This index value is managed by the network room manager and is unique for each player. When the index or the name changes, the command calls and the RPC calls are used to update the list item UI elements. 
Ok, that's it for now. You can check out the code for these components on GitHub and this time I also added a link to a downloadable version of the game in the description. Feel free to give it a spin and let me know in the comments what you think of it. I'm off to work on the next video, so if you like the video then please give it a thumbs up.